Quest is 26 years old, and I've had Quest for 23 years. So him and me have just been covering a lot of trail rides. We do a lot of camping, trail rides, over hill, over dale, kind of all over California. We've traveled a lot of places. In the last few years, he's become um, more of my retired horse. I hand select what rides I'm going to do with him because he's gotten arthritis over the years. And so he just kind of hangs out and takes my sister for rides and does all those type of things. And then he came down with laminitis. So we've um, called in the vet, and Dr. Warner came out, and we diagnosed him as either poor shoeing or laminitis, and eventually went on into laminitis. And I did radiograph him, and I discovered that there was no sole on the horse, and I was quite concerned that if his laminitis became a, went from acute to chronic, he would rotate through the bottom of his foot, and we would lose him. He was noticeably lame the day that he came to get the plates on, and I have to say that he walked off a lot happier after we put the plates on, so that was already encouraging. He developed an abscess in his foot, and I'm thinking it was about a month and a half after we put the plates on. We were fearful that the abscess would cause him to um, get laminitis in his other foot. So we were doing a lot of treatment, heavy treatment, real fast, and I'm trying to keep that from happening. The reason we chose to take the shoe off was because we had a self-conforming pad that we used um, originally on May 10th and didn't feel like we could get to the abscess unless we took the, the self-conforming pad and the shoe off. So now we're going to go back to a plain shoe, but what we have noticed over this growth period is that the foot has gotten substantially longer and larger. The original shoe that we had on Quest was a one, and the foot has grown so much and increased in size that I'm going to try to make a larger shoe now back onto the existing Nolan hoof plate that has stayed secured, and the horse is still very happy. And so now we're dealing with some scaling of the outer horn, and that's just a matter of time before that grows out. But uh, the foot's not as pretty as I'd hoped it would be with that much growth and, and trimming the foot down. And, but we're so happy with how dense the hoof wall is now. Since the plates have come off, the horse has been 100% fine. It, he's like he was probably three years ago. It seems to me like he doesn't even seem quite as arthritic as he did. But then again, I haven't rode him and asked him to do much work. But he's doing fantastic since the plates have been on. He had grown quite a bit of foot, um, and the integrity of the foot, I think, is better. Um, it's easier for the farrier to work with the foot that he, that he has on now. There's definitely more sole there, which we can measure radiographically. So I'm pleased. We noticed that the horse had a pretty severe scar on the coronary band. And just as a bonus now, you can see where the scar just looks a whole lot better. I think maybe because you've got increased blood flow due to the hoof plates, the longevity of how long the hoof plates were on, and the foot is stable, the sole is solid. The hoof itself is more solid now, and the scar, just as a bonus, looks a hundred times better. I had decided when he was real sick that he was finished. He's just, just my friend who's hanging out in the corral. And now I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can take him for the little rides, the flatter rides. Keep it, because he really does like to ride. He's, he's a horse who wants to go. He's not a horse who wants to watch the trailer go away and go on a camping trip and he has to stay home. He's kind of looking like, why not take me? I think the biggest impact was I thought I was going to lose him. And I get him still, you know, so I'm going to have him for a few more years. And, I'm, you know, he's going to die of something else, not laminitis is my whole hope.